This slide offers a nice recap of all the tranches of debt we just covered. I won't bore you by rehashing what we just hit on, but you can see each type of debt organized from left to right in order of seniority, and all the other associated terms laid bare. This page can be a nice heuristic or cheat sheet as you head into PE interviews, or even something to keep on your desk on the job in PE as a quick reference point. So in our LBO model, we're going to use almost every form of debt here. The only one we're going to exclude is senior notes because functionally, they're not remarkably different from sub-debt in the context of an LBO modeling exercise. With that said, I want to be clear that a much more conventional structure for a large LBO, like what we're looking at, would simply be four to four and a half turns of a term loan plus two to three turns of sub-debt. But I'm nevertheless going to include MES financing and preferred stock just to show you guys how the formulas and treatment of these work in a model. If the assumptions really strain your credulity, once we're done, you can always toggle the financing assumptions in the model to fit a more realistic structure. What you'll find is that this is a very robust model and flexible for any type of capital structure you choose. With that stated, let's turn to module five where we will apply this knowledge to build out our financing assumptions as well as sources and uses. You are just cruising through this course. I can just taste the bananas. Keep it up.